everyone. Uh, this is a real quick video today, and I wanted to show you the differences for getting power for like Arduino projects or other little projects like my endless torch light. Um, I've always used micro USB, which is really easy because if you look at the pinout diagram, get the cat hair off of it, of a micro USB, it has a total of five pins. It has VCC, which is your positive, that's your five volts DC. Uh, data lines, which we don't use for power delivery. Um, an ID, which we don't really use for anything, really. And the ground. So basically, most people, when they're doing Arduino projects and they just need power, they use pin 1 and pin 5. Real quick, real simple, real easy. Now, when you move up to USB-C, look how many more pins you get. I think it's like 26 pins or so. It's insane because you have so many more data channels on here. Plus, it's reversible. That's the great thing about USB-C. You can put it in either way. So technically, it has half the pins, but they're copied reverse on the opposite side. So for this, we have four power pins and four ground pins. Ground, of course, is marked as ground, and the positive is marked as VUSB, voltage USB positive or whatever. So there's four pins of that, and it works great, so if we go here, the way it's pinned out, you got two grounds on the bottom, two grounds on the top, and then in between your two main data lines, you have your VUSBs. There's four of those pins. Here's ground, VUSB, and there's 5.2 volts. We go over here, 5.2 volts, and there's two more pins. Over down here, VUSB again, 5.2 and also 5.2 and you also have second ground third ground and fourth ground and the shield at least on this board the shield is actually tied directly to ground so if we go over to here get for our sound for continuity if we go shield and ground you'll see they are electrically connected to each other so they are the same but they do give two pins also for the shield now why this is cool is one it's easier because of course you get the reversibility and supposedly USB-C can handle more insertions and pullouts without going bad the big thing is though micro USB had a maximum of two amps running through it whereas these can handle a maximum of five amps if you get the right power supply to supply your USB-C power so that's why I want to move on over all my projects to USB-C, but I need this breakout board so I can see how it actually works. I want the 5 amp capability, and I also wanted the ease of flipping back and forth, and it's a little more future-proof, if you want to say, for at least another 5 years until USB comes out with another spec, but at least this will work for the foreseeable future. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. I'll see you next video. Thumbs up, that's great.